Good afternoon, beautiful people. I am so honored and I'm so excited to be here with you today. If you're gonna join me live, amazing. If you're gonna watch replay, wonderful. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And I would love to introduce myself, especially if you have not heard about me, if you didn't come across my work. My name is Dagmar Khan and I am women's leading sexuality expert. And I help successful women heal from past sexual trauma and sexual pain so they can truly live better inside of their body, skyrocket their mental and emotional confidence, and most importantly, reclaim their orgasmic nature. And I strongly believe that when we reclaim our bodies, when we reclaim our sexuality, when we get off the cycles of pain and discomfort and numbness, and sometimes even like plain downright chronic pain, it truly allows us to feel so much more alive and so much more happier and so much more fulfilled and actually become the flourishing woman that radiate with positivity and energy and radiance. So uh, if you're here with me live, uh, definitely drop me a little emoji in the comments below so I can see who is here with me. It's true honor to have you here and let us dive right in. So as a sexual educator and as a sexuality expert, one of the most common questions, one of the most common complaint I get from my students, from my clients, from women in my community is that sex hurts. I don't feel anything. I don't like my vagina. I don't like the way my vagina looks. I don't like the way my vagina smells. I hate looking down there. I hate connecting with myself. And before I even dive into these three essential steps of actually healing painful sex, what I truly want to share with you is that having a relationship with your sexuality, having a relationship with your body that is less than optimal, that is based on self-hatred, on lack of self-acceptance, on a little like dismissing this part of you, is one of the huge reason why chronic pain or a chronic numbness or a sexual pain does not have environment to heal in. This is a massive, massive piece. And I have literally seen like 360 degree shift in women who start to create more loving, accepting and self-affirming relationship with their vagina, with their pelvic floor, with their clitoris, and truly shift from shaming themselves, criticizing themselves, blaming themselves, or like secretly hating this part of their body to actually building loving, accepting, and body affirming relationship. So with that being said, uh, I actually would like to share a story of one of my client uh, that is incredibly smart. She has been, she's an incredibly intelligent woman. She's actually a psychotherapist. So she works with people. She's facilitating a transformational spaces. And she in, you know, over the course of a lifetime, she has internalized a lot of shame, a lot of shame from her parents, from religion, from, you know, all um, media billboards and all of that shame has been literally internalized in her vagina. Now, the interesting part was that she did not know about it. It's not like she came to me as like, I have so much shame in my vagina. What she felt instead and what was going on for her is that she was happily married with her husband that she loves very much, her husband loves her very much, but there they are, you know, five years into their marriage and they are having no sex. And the reason for that is that she has a chronic pain in her vagina. So um, as we started working together, what became obvious uh, several weeks into the process is that she has taken on, she has internalized so much of critique and shame and repression and everything has been little like stored in her pelvis. Her pelvis became like this 
uh, almost like a, if you imagine a pressure cooker, her pelvis became a pressure cooker where all the internalized shame has been literally trapping her tissues, has been trapping her nerves and in turn resulting in pain. So we have really mindfully uh, started discharging and dislodging this shame and releasing shame from her cells and from her tissues. And in less, uh, I believe like in 11 weeks of us working together, she was absolutely pain-free and she reclaimed a full intimacy and amazing connection with her husband. So the psycho-emotional piece is really, really essential and Having said that, many times women don't know how to really get into these trapped emotions. They are not aware how, what kind of emotions are there. So it's really, really important to have like a doorway through your body. So the three essential steps that you must embark on if you're a woman who has either pain in her pelvic floor, like vaginismus or vulvodynia, if you have pain in your vagina, whether that's the entrance of the vagina or up in the cervix, whether you have pain in the clitoris, and whether that's pain because that's there because of traumatic childbirth or maybe some medical procedure or uh, something not like unknowing to you, like whatever reason is there, you must embark on these three steps. So the first piece is you must get off the exhaustion cycle. If you're chronically stressed, if you're tired, if you're not sleeping well, if you're in a, this constant go, go, go mode, you're literally exhausting your body's ability to heal. So one of the core pieces I say to my clients over and over again is your body loves to heal. Listen to this. Your body loves to heal. Your body knows how to heal, but you must create the environment where healing is possible. So when you are in the exhaustion cycle, you're literally depleting your body's ability to heal. Now, the moment you start literally, I call it like triggering your off switch, which means consciously triggering your relaxation response. You're inviting your body into the healing mode. When your body is in relaxation response, literally your body is focusing on regenerating tissues, regenerating uh, places of damage of um, like a cellular uh, lack of a regeneration. So the cells that need to regenerate are regenerating correctly and at optimal rate. Learning how to get off exhaustion cycle and really inviting relaxation response, it will not only give you what you deeply want, which is the freaking peace of mind that pretty much every successful woman, like the high achiever, the ambitious woman, the business woman, the entrepreneur, right? Like you got to get off the exhaustion cycle and invite relaxation response. You will be more happier. You'll be more fulfilled. You're going to feel better. And most importantly, you'll start creating the environment in your body in which your vagina, in which your sexuality can start to heal. So Jack says, I'm a boy, but I still find your lecture useful and gives us an idea about the way of life and understanding women more on a comfortable level. Yes, Jack, thank you so much for this. This is really, really beautiful. Thank you for sharing this. And I'm um, super happy that this is uh, giving you an amazing insight. So the step number two, and when I say step, uh, these are not linear steps. The step number two is mining your pelvis, but it's not like, hey, I first need to create relaxation response, then maybe I'll mine my pelvis. They are really cyclical and they have to be integrated. They have to be part of your everyday life. Same as healing doesn't happen this way, right? Healing happens this way. You're going to really address everything in order for your body to heal, whether that's, um, you know, overcoming a bad flu or, uh, you know, minding a fracture, right? And letting your body to rest. You're really going to bring this in a cyclical way. So the second piece, the essential piece is minding your pelvis. Now, what do I mean by that? 
Things like chronic tension and muscular imbalances in the pelvis, and I'm not saying only in vagina and clitoris, but in all of the pelvis. That means around the womb, that means around the ovaries, that means the back of the pelvis, like the sacrum, the buttocks, the gluteals, that means the front of the pelvis, the psoas, the iliacus, the bottom of the pelvis. Like, you gotta take care of where your vagina lives. Your vagina pain does not live in like, it's not, um, you know, disintegrated part of other pieces. Your vagina connects to your pelvic floor and your pelvic floor connects to the front seam of your pelvic basin and the front seam of the pelvic basin is wrapping your womb and your ovaries. So this is a part of an integrated system. If you want to break free of sexual pain, if you want to heal your vagina, you must learn how you're using your pelvis every single day. That means, yes, getting to know your pelvis from inside out, learning about your pelvis, but also studying yourself, studying your body, studying how are you using your pelvis in your everyday life from, you know, sitting in your car to um, walking down the street to uh, taking care of emails when you are on, on laptop or you're on screen. It's absolutely critical that you are mining your pelvis, you're understanding your pelvis, you're understanding the behavior of your tissues in your pelvis, and you actually are doing a practices on a daily basis that help to evaporate levels of chronic tension. Now, one of my clients, um, she has had, she came to me with a chronic seven years of vaginismus. And uh, the vaginismus has been so severe that she literally, uh, intimacy in her marriage was absolutely non-existent and it was causing a lot of lot of pain and a lot of arguments, a lot of disagreement between her herself and her husband. And the interesting thing about this client was that she did not really have like any type of injury or any type of trauma or anything quote unquote bad that might have happened to her. But what she did have was a lot of fear around penetration, a lot of fear around uh, her vagina being penetrated. So that fear literally started to make her tissue, especially like this muscular ring around the opening of her vagina, it started to make that ring very, very tight, chronically tight, like incredibly tight to a point that even like putting a little finger around the opening of the vagina was really uncomfortable. So what we had to do is really help her. And that goes back to the step one, create a deep relaxation in her system, but even more specifically, create a deep relaxation in her pelvic floor and in her vagina. So she's creating the environment in which the fear can start to evaporate and then truly addressing this chronic tension in her pelvic floor and in her vagina and in the entrance of her vagina so those tissues can start to receive circulation and blood flow and oxygenation and through that space actually begin to resolve these chronic layers of holding and chronic layers of tension. So Jack says, what's your degree or field of study? I'm a doctor too. Our female patients in gynae needs a lot of counseling. I find your lecture very useful for them. Okay, excellent, Jack. Uh, I'm super happy to like uh, have a private conversation. Uh, but what I want to say for now is I have 15 years of um, 15 years of uh, real life experience in biomechanics in working with people with chronic pain. I have master degree in human sexuality and I'm currently pursuing a master's degree in neuroscience. So uh, I hope this helps, and I'm super happy to chat uh, on Messenger and take this a little bit further. So the third piece around this, the third essential step around addressing your sexual pain is a process, very specific sexual healing process that is called the de-armoring. De armoring. So if we go back to this idea of tension, right, that let's say your pelvic floor, your vulva is holding a chronic layers of tension, 
The de-armoring is the specific technique, is a specific process that allows women to unravel the layers of tension in a really body-based, gentle, and trauma-informed way. And the trauma-informed is very, very important, especially for women who have history of sexual abuse, who have been raped, who have been traumatized, who have been molested. They have to have a way of getting into their body that is done in a way that feels safe, that feels gentle, and it is not re-traumatizing their system. So the de-armoring basically allows women to, allows you to literally remove and restore the mechanisms, like the nervous system mechanisms that are numbing and blocking you from uh, either uh, feeling pleasure or feeling sensation or plain down on feeling pain. Now, here is one absolutely mind-blowing, mind-blowing thing. And I feel as someone who deeply cares about women's sexual health and women's sexual well-being, that this is, I want to take like an amplion and literally shout it from the rooftop, which is your pathways of pain and your pathways of pleasure, they are traveling through the same neural network. So what that means is, let's say this is one nerve and this same nerve in your sexuality is capable of feeling pain and is capable of feeling pleasure. So through the de-armoring, what you can do in a very body positive way and profoundly trauma informed way is to start dislodging these um like highly activated nerve endings that are just signaling pain, 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 pain. And what happens when a vagina signals pain, 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 pain into the brain? One thing happens. We don't want to feel this. We don't want to connect with this part of the body. And it creates a further and further, um, uh, how would I say it? Like distancing of brain with this part of your body. So when you start to in a trauma sensitive way, dislodge these pain points, you'll actually begin to wire your nervous system and this specific nerve ending to safety, to connection, to pain free experience, and slowly even to pleasure. So to recap this is if you are a woman, who is done and dusted with feeling sexual pain, who is done and dusted with feeling shame in her body, who is done and dusted with uh, not having the answers and the guidance and the solutions. And let's be honest, there are so few on the market. There are so few on even if you're literally trying your level best to find the answer and solution to your to your pain. So the first as absolutely essential thing is you've got to get off the exhaustion cycle and truly start creating deep relaxation response in your body. Not just when you sleep, not just when you have glass of wine at the end of the and at the end of the day, but throughout your day. The second piece that's essential is mining your pelvis, which means learning about your pelvis, learning about how your pelvis works, and then addressing the muscular tension, uh, the muscular imbalances, and truly optimizing the health of your pelvis in your everyday life. And the third piece is the specific sexual healing process called de-armoring, which allows you to dislodge layers of trapped emotion, trauma patterns, or chronic tension from a specific point and literally rewire your nervous system, the nervous system of your sexuality, back to health, back to safety, back to vitality, and back to pleasure. So there are currently two ways of working with me if you're really invested in saying goodbye to sexual pain and truly making 2020 the year when you reclaim your health and you reclaim your vitality. 
The first option is my Flash Academy program, which is the most comprehensive online program that addresses a deep healing of your body. It really teaches you on how your body works and you will be deeply empowered and supported to start applying sexual healing practices into your everyday life. So in less than 90 days, you can completely say goodbye to sexual pain, whether your sexual pain has lasted three months or three years or even 30 years. We're going to say goodbye to your pain in less than 90 days. In my Flesh Academy is an excellent option if you want to work with me online. The second option is my orgasmic body one month intensive, which is excellent if you want to work with me in person. It's an excellent option if you're local, if you're in Waterford, or if you're in Ireland in general, or if you want to travel from Europe, absolutely beautiful. And in orgasmic body one month intensive, uh, this is a combination of sexual education. So you'll really get to know your body from inside out. And subsequently, you're going to receive from me a body work and very, very specific postural and nervous system adjustments that will make you get off the pain cycle in less than a month. This one-month intensive is truly an excellent opportunity if you want to do in-person work with me and truly get out of the pain cave. I believe and I'm massive believer that your body can heal no matter what has happened, no matter the level of trauma, no matter the level of not knowing, no matter what you have tried, your body can heal when you have the right tools, when you have the right guide, and then most importantly, you are doing what it takes to truly invite the healing and relaxation response. So Jay Marie, I hope I have your name right. Uh, this is so helpful. I wish you were here in Toronto. I pretty much had to diagnose myself with vulvodynia after suffering from it for four to five years. I've gotten better with physio, but sexual intercourse can still cause me burning and pain. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this. Yes, absolutely. I do have a lot of clients in Toronto. Uh, they work with me in Flash Academy. So uh, definitely we can uh, get together and have um, have a heart-to-heart -heart chat and see how I could support you in your healing and um, really, really addressing a painful sexual intercourse. So if this is speaking to you, what I'm inviting you to is to book in for a free chat. You can see the link in the description of this video, or you can simply drop me a private message and we can have a beautiful heart-to-heart -heart chat, see exactly where are you at, see exactly what type of support and guidance you need and how working with me, how I can best support you in truly saying goodbye to pain and making 2020 the year of pleasure, of health, of vitality, and of aliveness. Your body deserves it. You deserve it. You are amazing. I know you've come a really, really long way. And this is my heartfelt invitation to truly deeply support you in making healing available and real and true and lasting and truly helping you live better inside of your body. So I'm sending you so, so, so much love. If you want to ask me anything in private, I know this can be very sensitive and very tender topic. Uh, feel free to send me a private message. I'm super happy to have a conversation with you, answer your question and really show you what is possible when you know the roadmap into healing. Amazing, J. Mary. I can't wait to uh, get in touch with you. Okay, beautiful woman. Much, much love. And I am super excited to connect with you very soon.